welcome to Business Prayer Time offered by the Global Prayer Network of the Joseph Business School. Today's topic of prayer is upgrade. As we begin to pray for our businesses, for God to upgrade our spirit, soul, body, and mind, here are some key scriptures you can use as you meditate during your personal prayer time and throughout the week. 2 Peter 3 and 18 says, But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory now and forever. Hebrews 6 and 1, Therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ and be taken forward to maturity. Luke 17 and 5, the apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. Let us pray. Father, we come before you today. Father, we come thanking you and lifting up holy hands unto you. We surrender unto you. Father, we thank you that you are the author and the finisher of our faith. Father, we thank you that we are here to bless your name on today and to thank you that every day is a day of thanksgiving, that every day you loaded us up with benefits. Father, we ask you to forgive us of our sins and forgive those that have sinned against us. We thank you for our businesses, Father, that as we prepare to upgrade our mind, Father, that you wish to bless us. You said that you wish above all things that your children will prosper be in good health even as their soul prosper. Father, we thank you that you want to give us everything. So we upgrade our mind, Father, that we think on things that are loving, think on things that are pure, think on things that are kind. We thank you, Father, that you are upgrading our accounts. You are upgrading our business partners. You are upgrading, Father, what we see. We thank you for the vision, for your word. You told us to write the vision and make it plain. And those that see it will run with it. So we thank you, Father, that you are letting us move beyond elementary teaching about Christ. And we are being taken forward to maturity. You are maturing us. The Father, you told us that we are to walk by faith and not by sight. You told us that we are to trust in the Lord with all thy heart, lean not to thy own understanding, but to acknowledge you in all thy ways and you will direct our path. We thank you that just like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it, we may grow up in your salvation, knowing that we have tasted that the Lord is good. We thank you, Father, for being good. We thank you for being great. We thank you, Father, that you wish to bless us, that you are expanding us and you are creating us a clean a, a, a clean heart and a right spirit. You told us to be diligent in these patterns, in these matters. Give ourselves wholly to you. You said, Father, that everyone may see our progress. Father, we thank you that as we are upgrading, that people will will see that the favor of God surrounds us like a shield. Father, we thank you for this very reason that make every effort to add to our faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance. Father, we thank you that you are upgrading us. Father, even our language is being upgraded, that we are thinking kingdom thoughts, that as we come together, Father, that you are allowing us to see what you see. We thank you just as you spoke unto Joshua and Caleb and you asked them what do they see? Father, we thank you that you are upgrading our eyesight that we can say, Father, that we are well able to have billion dollar businesses. We are well able to walk in kingdom financial freedom. We are well able, Father, to have businesses in every city. We are well able to 
to expand our team. We are well able, O oh God, that you said that the greater one lives on the inside of us and that there is nothing too hard for God. We thank you, Father, that as we look to you, we know, Father, that we will not be double-minded, nor will we be unstable in our ways, because we know that, Father, you told us to lay hands on ourselves. So as we lay hands on ourselves, we are able, Father God, to be representatives of the kingdom of God. We will not get weary, Father, on this journey. You said, don't get weary in well-doing, but in due season, we will reap a harvest. We thank you, Father, that as iron sharpened iron, so a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. So, Father, we will not leave our friend out. We will not leave our business partners out. That they will also be upgrading. For we know, Father, your word says, where two or three come together in your name, there you are in the midst. So we thank you for being in the midst of us. We thank you, Father, that the Holy Spirit is there to, to, to lead and guide us into all truth and understanding. We thank you, Father, for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for Jesus. You said, Father, that you said unto him, For if you can believe, all things are possible for the one who believes. You said to be still and know that you are God so father we're thanking you that we are hoping in all things believe in all things that father that we are pulling down the stronghold that's in our minds that our staff may think that we cannot conquer but you said that there is more than be with us than be with them we thank you that you've given us the victory in Christ Jesus and so therefore father even from the oldest to the youngest that you are giving us the upgrade in our minds father that we are thinking on how we can leave a legacy to the next generation we thank you father that in our communities we are upgrading that when they see our businesses, that we are operating in an upgrade level of excellence. In our schoolwork, we are operating in an upgrade level of excellence. You said to show yourself in all respects, to be a model of good works, and in your teaching to show integrity and dignity. So we thank you, Father, that we are showing forth your kingdom. You said thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, you said, I have heard of you that the spirit of God is in you and that the light and understanding and excellent wisdom are found in us. We thank you, Father, that people will know that you are with us. And we thank you that as we meditate on your word day and night, we will have great success. For we are reprogramming our mind to think and know, Father, without a shadow of a doubt that you are with us every step of the way. So we're upgrading. When we lay down to, at night, we're meditating on your word. We're meditating on your promises. We are speaking those things that be not as though they were. We thank you, Father, that we are at the top of our class, that every contract and every innovative spirit, Father, that you have given unto us, that we are able to conquer and move boldly for the kingdom of God. We thank you, Father, that our faith will fail us not. We upgrade every area. We upgrade our office space. We upgrade our view of what we see. We upgrade, Father, those that come into our presence, that they will begin to upgrade in their conversation. Our language is now speaking faith. We know, Father, that you have given us the authority and the power that we are to rise up in our faith, in our most holy faith. We thank you that as we excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge. We excel. And in our love for you, to see that you excel in the act of grace, we upgrade. 
We thank you, Father, that you are taking us from faith to faith and from glory to glory. We thank you that you have chosen us, that you've created in us a clean heart and a right spirit. Father, you said that two are better than one because they have a a good reward for their labor. So we thank you. We bless your name. We honor you. And we know, Father, you said that whatever we ask, believe that we receive it and we shall have it. So we thank you that we are able to speak to that mountain and that mountain must be removed. We thank you, Father, that you've given us, that your word says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. So as we speak your word, you said, Father, that without faith, it is impossible to please you. You said with God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently, earnestly seek him. So, Father, we are making a choice on today that whatever we're asking, but we're believing that we receive it and we shall have it. Father, you told us, that you will increase our faith. Just as you, as the apostles asked the Father, increase our faith. And we thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you honor. We adore you. We magnify you, Father. We are excited, Father. We are happy and we are planted, Father, in your word that we will not be moved by what we see. We thank you. We thank you for wisdom. You said, if anyone lacks wisdom, let them ask of God, who gives it liberally. And out of the mouth of God comes knowledge and understanding. So we upgrade in wisdom, knowledge. We upgrade in love. We upgrade, Father, in in communicating with one another. We upgrade. And most of all, we upgrade in your word. For your word is strong and powerful than any two-edged sword. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Well, we thank you all for joining us on today for this time of prayer. We pray that as you meditate on the scriptures, 2 Peter 3 and 13, Hebrews 6 and 1, and Luke 17 and 5, and 2 Peter 3 and 18 says, But God grew in the grace, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory now and forever. Hebrews 6 and 1. Therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ and be taken forward to maturity. Luke 17 and 5. The apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. Amen. As you allow God to speak to you this week regarding upgrading every area of your life, your business, your your team, your spirit, soul, body, and mind. If this prayer time has blessed you, feel free to sow a seed for what you're believing God for. If your business needs prayer, call the Joseph Business Prayer Line at 877-543-9443. Extension 4. That number again is 877-543-9443. Extension 4. And someone will be happy to pray with you. Thank you again for joining us for Noonday Prayer. And we'll see you next week. Be blessed.